what's up guys it's your boy ds and today we're going to be talking about how to get one of the best gear sets in the game this is easily one of the best and you are going to be using this quite a lot after you get it it is going to be the glide gear set now what this gear set does is it gives you mobility in the air and basically allows you to move a lot farther and a lot faster whenever you're gliding now keep in mind this game heavily wants you to be in the air a lot of the time so this gear set is going to be so significant to the game while you're playing it is easily one of the best gear sets in the game now there are a bunch of different things that you need to do and i'm going to walk you guys through everything so you guys don't have to worry about anything now starting off you want to go to the lindor's brow skyview tower you want to make your way here if you don't have it already and if you do have it already you can go ahead and just teleport there and this is going to be where you get the first piece of the gear set now after you get here to this tower you want to go ahead and shoot yourself into the air and after you shoot yourself into the air you'll see that there's a whole bunch of sky structures uh right there and what you're going to do is make your way over to those now you don't have to do anything special or anything extra you can just glide over there use your glide use your paraglider and different things like that and you will make it over there just fine now as you guys see you have made it over to this island and once you get over here you want to go ahead and activate this thing right here and then after activating this it's going to put a green ring at the edge of this and you're going to go over to it and then you're going to jump off so as you guys see right here you'll end up jumping off and then there's going to be a whole bunch of green rings in the air and you want to make sure that you get all of those and then uh, you know you'll end up hitting all the rings and after hitting all the rings this cutscene or you know this thing should pop up and then once this pops up that's how you know that you've done it so this is going to drop now after that you want to make your way to the robot that is uh up here and he is going to be the person that gives you the quest or side mission or whatever you want to call it to start getting these pieces now he's just going to tell you hey do you want to do the ceremony and then you'll be like what ceremony blah 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 you'll just keep talking to him and he's going to need one zoni charge now keep in mind you're going to need three total because there's three pieces of this set but anyways he'll say he'll need one you'll give him one and then after that he's going to teleport you back to the top and then after that he's going to say hey you got 35 seconds to do this and like i said it's pretty easy you'll go ahead and drop down and like i said i'm sure a lot of you guys can do it faster than i did uh i wasn't even rushing that much and like i beat it in like what 25 seconds or something like that so like i said it's pretty easy to do it's not anything crazy once again i pull out my glider so it's not like i'm even being super efficient or anything like that and then as you guys see i end up making it there now uh once you do this he will end up giving you the first piece of the gear set and then he'll ask hey do you want to do it again for another reward you guys can do it if you want uh i didn't do that i just wanted to go ahead and get the full thing so as you guys see right there you get the glide shirt and then like i said i clicked i'll pass and then after that you have the shirt and you can go on to the next thing now the next area you're going to want to go is going to be directly north of central hyrule and it's going to be the thylo ruin skyview tower you want to make your way here and it is going to be uh, a pretty decent trip this is going to be a lot more difficult to get here than the first tower but anyways you'll go ahead and you'll make your way there now once you get to this tower it's going to be locked you're not going to be able to do it yet and the reason why is because there's going to be a block on top of the tower so you're going to have to use the blocks in the area to basically fly up there and then eventually move the block off the top of the tower it's not that hard all you got to do is jump on one of the blocks you can attach a rocket or two to a block and shoot it all the way up and then once you're in the air you can literally jump off jump onto the tower and then after jumping on the tower you can move the block off yourself it's a pretty easy way to do it uh but yeah you have to do that first and then once you do that you guys will be able to activate this tower now after shooting yourself into the air and activating the tower you guys want to make your way to this sky island that you see me going to i hit a, a 180 and then i'm going to be making my way over here now this is not going to be the exact location that you guys want to go and as you guys see on the screen i actually switch 
to my dive gear even if you only have one piece on it gives you mobility stats so every time you get a piece you can just put that on so you have a little bit better mobility until you have the full set but anyways you want to make your way to this sky island and that is going to be because you guys can activate a shrine so if you mess up or whatever the case may be you can teleport back here now you don't have to do the shrine immediately you can do it later or whatever the case may be but you do want to activate it just so that you have this teleport now that you have the shrine the place you're going to be jumping off to is going to be right below on the left side so you want to go there and jump off and then you can literally glide and dive and do whatever you need to do to get to this next sky island and you'll see it is it's, it's decently far but you you can do it pretty easily uh just use like i said your paraglider and gliding and you guys will make it over there as you guys see, I'm almost there, and you'll notice that I do have the chest piece on, and it's giving me a little bit better mobility so that I can make it here easier. So, uh, once again, once you get down here, all you have to do is talk to the robot. The robot is going to, you know, teleport you back up there after you give it, give them the Zonai charge, and you're going to fly down, go through all the rings, and like I said, it's relatively easy. The only difficult part is there are clouds, so sometimes you can't really see exactly where the circle is. But even with there being clouds, as you guys see, I still was, you know, able to do it pretty easy. I didn't have to do anything too crazy. And you see with that shirt, you have so much better mobility. And this is only one piece. So once you get the other pieces, it's going to be even better. But as you guys saw right there, I ended up, you know, doing it. And then after you do it the first time, then you go talk to him. And as you guys saw, you get done with the practice run. And then after the practice run, he'll go into the hay. Uh, you have 35 seconds to do this and then he'll teleport you back up there and then that's whenever you have the timer but like I said relatively easy it's not that hard to do so as you guys see right there you get the glide pants and now now you're going to be even faster and be able to move uh, you know quicker in the air now that you have two of the three pieces now that we got two out of the three pieces the last one you're going to need to go to is the mount lanairu skyview tower and it's going to be on the far right of the map now i'm telling you right now this is easily the hardest one to get to you have to go through a lot like you have to go pretty far number one and then number two you go into a snowy area and you're going to be in that snowy area for a while so make sure that you guys have some sort of like freeze resistance or type of food or whatever so that you guys uh won't freeze or if you have you know freeze gear put it on whatever you need to do but make sure you guys do that and then uh once you get there you are gonna have to climb a, a mountain which it's a pretty big mountain now once you guys get to this tower you can go ahead and shoot yourself in the sky now there's one thing to note you might want to teleport yourself back to the tower after you get it and then relaunch yourself because the second launch is always going to be higher than the first one simply because the first one is when you do the scan so you've already fallen a little bit but anyway now that we're in the air you're going to be making your way over to the sky island that i'm flying to and the cool thing about this is you're going to get over here and once you land there there's actually going to be a vehicle that you guys can get on and you can control it and in controlling it you can fly to where you need to go as you guys see right here i am using the vehicle and all you got to do is fly until you're above the island that you guys see the island down there once you know once you fly above that island you can just jump off and then you can glide down so you're literally just using this vehicle to get above that island and then once you get there you're going to go ahead and jump off of it so now that we've made it to the island we're going to go ahead and talk to the robot again and it's going to be the exact same thing and as you guys see right there after you do it you do get the glide mask which is going to be the last piece of this gear set and now that you have the complete gear set you guys are going to be ready to go now i'm telling you that the mobility this gear set gives you in the air is actually insane like how how good you're able to move opposed to without having it as you guys see right here i do jump off and then i go into a dive and you as you guys see like i'm literally moving in any direction i want very very fast it's going to be so much better than when you didn't have this gear set now the thing about this is uh, which I didn't do this yet, and I don't really think you need to because you always have a paraglider. But if you guys want to, you can level up this gear set, and then whenever you land, you will take no fall damage. Now, like I said, I don't really see a point in doing that because you literally have a paraglider, and you can kind of just paraglide right before you land whenever you want. But 
as you guys see right there that is the gear set super amazing gear set this is going to be something that i use a lot but anyway that is going to be it for this video be sure to give a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me what you guys think in the comment section below with that being said i will see you guys next time peace